Hello, everybody! Welcome to Danny's Kitchen. Tonight, I'm making something special. Something so yummy. Mm, 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 good! It's called Sakatekas Style Green Mole Chicken. Gonna put it on some rice. It is absolutely delicious. Not that difficult to make either. It takes a little bit of time, but here's what you need to get started. All right, this is one of my favorite dishes because it tastes so yummy. It's really easy to make. I'm starting with 12 cups of water. You need the water, 12 cups. Do measure it out because we're gonna take some of the water when we're done cooking our chicken and we're gonna split it up for a couple different things. First off, just put the chicken in the water. And FYI, if you wonder if I wash my hands after I touch raw chicken, every single time I do. Every single time. All right, so you got the chicken. I got one whole onion, chopped up. I got over a teaspoon of peppercorns because they're just so darn good. A couple bay leaves. I've taken four garlic and I smashed them. A lot of recipes ask for two garlic. What are you gonna do with two garlic? It's not enough about a tablespoon of salt and then I'm taking a cup of cilantro oh this is so good then I'm gonna cook this about 45 minutes and then we're going to go to the next step once it comes to a boil you cover it for about 35 minutes all right so the chicken is done cooking I'm gonna remove the chicken from the pot I'm gonna strain the water but I'm gonna put the water to the side because we need that all right, so the mole verde for this recipe calls for a few things. It calls for tomatillos, which I've gone ahead and peeled and rinsed. It calls for some chilies. Oh, I got some chilies. And then it calls for like three gar garlic cloves chopped up. I don't do that. I'm going to roast four of these. I'm going to take one raw garlic and throw it in the blender when I mix everything up. That's how I do it. And after I drained everything, that's the broth that it leaves. That's the good stuff. I got plans for that. All right, let's grill us some veggies. Nice and hot. I like to char these. I like them dark. I like them with some color. Because it has to be cooked. Now, these cook really fast. A little bit longer. These take the longest. So while this is cooking, I'm turning my broiler on to low. And then I'm going to take two tortillas, put them on the highest shelf, let them get real dark, flip them, because I'm going to blend them with this mixture so it gives it a bit of thickness. It thickens it up like a roux. There you go. A tortilla roux. <coughs> Got a bit of that chili. <coughs> now I'm using a lot more chilies than you probably would. Um, use one, two. You can take the seeds out if you want. It's, it's not that spicy. I need more chili because once I take the liquid from the chicken that I cooked and I mix it with what I'm about to blend up, it's going to take away some of the heat. So that's why I use a lot of chili. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take the garlic off. That's done. Woo! <coughs> that chili's done. Oh my lord have mercy. Now, uh, tomatillos, they're going to get dark. There's no way around that. It has to happen because they got to cook. See that color? That's what you're looking for. As long as the bright green is gone. Done. That one is done. And once you put them, in the, once you put them to the side, they're going to keep cooking in there for a minute. So, you know what I mean? Ain't no rush. Alrighty, righty. Going to put these tortillas in the broiler on low. So, I got my tomatillos. I got that one lone garlic that I did not roast. And there's my tomatillos and my chilies and the garlics that I did roast. They're gonna go in there. And I got one cup of that chicken broth. That's gonna go in there. And a teaspoon of salt, a little bit more. Now you're gonna taste test it to make sure that you got enough salt in there. And I got two hot, crispy tortillas. Woo, they gotta be hot and they gotta be kind of crispy. For your tortilla roux. I love that tortilla roux. <laughs> Salsa, taste test time. Oh, oh my God, that's so awesome. Mmm, 
It's going to be so good. I'm so excited about this. Watch what happens next. All righty, time to add the three cups. One, two, and three. Once we start boiling, I'm going to turn it down and let it simmer for 30 minutes. Now this dish is served with rice, so I'm going to serve it with rice the way it's meant to do, but I'm going to use the chicken broth that I cooked the chicken in instead of water. It just makes it that much better. All right, so it's been 30 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and put the chicken back in now, and I'm going to cook it on low for about 10, 15 minutes, let everything absorb back in. I'm going to go from there. That looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? Oh my God. That's going to be so good. So I'm cooking some tortillas. I got my rice going. Last 10 minutes for the chicken. I'm going to put it all together on a plate and see what it looks like. See you in a few. Well, at last, the moment we've all been waiting for. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. I serve it with flour tortillas, which I have an abundance of. That I made earlier, but first and foremost is I gotta see if this is well, if it's edible. Oh, this just falls apart. It's so tender. Here we go. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is such a good dish. Reminds me of an old type of stew or something like that. It, the flavor is excellent. It goes so good with the rice and the homemade flour tortillas. It hits on every single level. I implore you to give this one a shot. The first time might be a little bit hard, but trust me, it gets a lot easier after that. It is such a good plate. Give it a shot. Try it out. See what it's like. Please like and follow. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And remember, love life one bite at a time.